Today we're gonna talk about gears and how to gear up correctly our characters and our heroes so everything can work beautifully and we can create the biggest damage on the planet. Um, now before we go, this is a new feature in the game. Um, I'm not really, as you guys know, I'm a free-to-play player so I don't really spend much money on, on the game. Um, therefore my gears up until this point are st still slightly restricted and I don't really have opportunity to check it all out through. But so far I figured out and this is this is how I run it. Um, if you have better ideas, please share it with me. Don't let me embarrass myself the, the, this way anymore. But I feel that for now I have it pretty well figured out. So I want to share with you what I know. Okay, so first of all, uh, there are some values uh, which the gear allows you to mess with and then there will be some values which the game won't allow you to mess with. So the values right now we can alter with the gears are all the, in the list on the left side, which is the attack, health points, the defense, critical chance, the block chance, the attack speed, cooldown, movies, move speed, as well as lifesteal. Now, it's all exciting when you when you see it. Uh, let's talk a little bit about it. So, first of all, that's the values we can mess with. The values you cannot touch still, it's the army power, the critical damage, range, population and immunities. And I hope that those, those things, the future gears and upgraded ideas, if this thing will work through, will bring. Uh, I feel like having a cool set with immunity against particular skill will be will be something um, unexpected. Uh, very often if you have, you know, team which is supposed to be able to be burned and you have a set which prevents that, that will be pretty, pretty cool, I think. Uh, anyway, therefore we can kind of define, uh, define, um, divide, sorry, uh, th this, this selection on three groups, which means it will be an attack group with um, alteration of attack stats, critical chance and attack speed. Then we're going to have a defense with health points, defense and the block chance, as well as at, out at a support group to it with um, cooldown, with move speed and with lifesteal. Now what that means, uh, we're going to talk about it in a moment, but ultimately that's the, the, the we, we divide the game and our heroes on these three categories. So we're going to have your attackers, regardless is it a melee or ranged units, uh, you're going to have your defense, which will be the tanks and then you're gonna have your support which will either freeze heal or or do stuff for you now therefore you want to think about um what kind of sets you want to have on your heroes and in order to encourage that way of thinking the game offers us two bonuses for a set down of three same ty same type of skills uh, gears you have or if you have six ones so for example uh, you have an attack set with the sword as an icon and if you have three swords, the game will give you a, a some percentage of boost. And then if you have six, it's it specifies right here. Um, so with this particular character, I went for cooldown set because I just want to see how that is that altering anything in terms of allowing her to make more damage, or this actually is just some slight percentage. Um, so, all right, let's go further with that. So we have we have four tiers of gears okay we have the gold legendary ones then we have the purple epics we're gonna have green rare ones and the white the normal ones uh, as you see that's that's where those gears are so we have the white yellow purple and gold ones now the difference between those is that first of all the gold one will allow you to upgrade four skills purple will allow you to upgrade three um green two and yellow sorry white just one and it also allows in terms of the levels so you can upgrade white one up to three levels green up to six levels purple up to nine and gold up to 12 levels and we're talking about the main skill the first skill on the list the top one so for example for this one it will be a cooldown then you have second third and fourth skill will be the cooldown attack speed and the lifesteal which are initially when you buy them and um, you don't have them so you will have that on the first level and those two skills, those three skills, bottom skills will be covered and they're going to be added to you randomly. Because uh, what happens, one of the things which you might not really pay attention is when you start Chambers of Destiny, after the latest, recent, recent upgrade, the Chambers will ask you what kind of gears you want to have. And they give you, like for example, three groups, like 
critical chance attack and defense the second group will be lifesteal cooldown critical chance and the third group will be defense um, critical chance and lifesteal so what that means is that you're gonna receive if you choose a group for example critical chance attack and death defense you're gonna receive uh, gears throughout the chambers of destiny uh, with their first stat out of those three so you're gonna get gears with critical chance as a first stat or attack or defense the second third and fourth depending what tier of the gear you're gonna get it's random um, and we don't really have any access to the information when you get the gear undeveloped on level one you have no idea what the level two and three will be and just to give you a little example um, that's a cloak which i'm using for this character now i also have an, uh, two attacking cloaks developed and i just want you to see uh, we want to compare the stats a little bit so we obviously cannot compare the the cooldown cloak with the attack cloak but i have actually let's go to onin that'll be much easier to to demonstrate so Oni is the one which I'm using uh, that cloak I was just talking about. There you go. And now we're going to compare those stats with this. So as you see, the attack stat is exactly the same. Um, the block chance, it happened randomly. I, I got exactly the same and defense as well. But in a moment, I'll show you. I think here you can see uh, the difference that the third skill is actually random. Just to confirm that. And the fourth one, I don't have, actually, maybe we'll be able to get it, if we're lucky enough. Oh, we're not lucky, so we won't find out. <laughs> but don't worry, this is the first edition of that clip. Um, depending how you guys like it and what feedback will be, I'm going to re-record it in some time. As much as I'm going to learn um, about the gears, I'll let you know. Let's come back to the cloak, so that's quite interesting. So if you watch the fourth skill... Um, in the cloak I'm using, the force skill is plus 9%, but it's yellow. So that suggests that this is like a legendary stat. But then if you look down, you have attack plus 13 and it's green. But <clears throat> if you look on the left, that's the stats I have with the cloak I'm using. And if I decide to change onto that cloak, that will be the difference. So it will be increasing my attack for 4%. But... I'm gonna lose the defense and now the question is do i want to have defense boost on that character or should i focus on attack only or because it's only and his attack is slow should i actually focus to beef his attack speed and that's the set i should go for so you see this is the really cool thing about the gears because while you develop your gears and you have proper amount of yellow sets eventually all on level 12 fully developed and stuff that will allow you to really mess with the statistics and characteristics of your of your um um, heroes because uh, adding a full attack set to Oni will bring completely different um, you know different outcome than full cooldown or full uh, attack speed just you know what I mean so we can really accelerate how he moves how he attacks or just the, the, the speed so uh, for example if you have Dakini I think Dakini goes um, let me just check one thing. I'm not sure from the top of my head. Do they go for critical? But because they're really, really fast, you don't really have to mess with that. Mm, yeah, we don't really do much critical here, do we? Yeah, there you go. So when they when they annoy it, they go critical times two. But as far as I remember. <coughs> Yeah, so this is when the math of this game becomes really cool, because what happens here, if they hit stun unit, they have times 2 damage. So times, sorry, times 5. So if it's a critical, it's additional times 2. So it's like times 10. You know what I mean? So this is, this is when the gears are really going to make a massive change, if we just think through. So let's come back here for a moment. Ah, there it is. Yeah, so, you know, just, just looking on, on the left, if I would wear this or that, how much it alters. Now, imagine that you have all gears, for example, like this one. So, the, the, the this the sword, necklace, gauntlet, the ring, uh, codex, and sh the boots, you know, all yellow, all developed with, 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 with similar stats the amount of stats on your left will change radically so it's really really important to mess with that um 
Yeah, one thing I want you to be careful though. Um, when you start working on developing your characters, you cannot really, sorry, developing your gears, you cannot really reset that. So if you see, for example, for some whatever reason happens, I don't like it. I, I cannot, you know, I cannot go and, and, and mess with that. I can at least upgrade it, but there is no option to reset and get those resources back. So be careful. Um, another important thing I would like you to, to, to notice is uh, where we can get the legendary, the yellow gears from. So the best and most available place for all of us will be the Yonder Yacht shop. And you can have kind of some... Um, you know some idea of what you're getting here because every day there is there are new gears there are usually some attacks some defense ones as well so you can play with them um i would prefer i would suggest not to spending spend money on those because those you get from the majority of notes of the games right now uh, the only two places for legendary gears right now it's the yonder yacht shop and the acid story advanced mode which you have to be a badass monster and beast in order to survive first even first stage and that's what i'm talking about right here i still cannot go through actually let's see i just messed with my gears i may be able you see the difference is that i have 1.4 million against 2.5 million and this is this is when things are becoming slightly painful just so you can see what i'm talking about we do this little demonstration so currently I have I beefed up my top hitters, which means that Oni, um, Engineer and Emir will have some addition in gears. The most amount um, has Oni and uh, Engineer, they have some gold attack boosts and stuff. But as you see, it's completely useless at this stage because I don't really have developed many other characters on yellow parts. I don't have many of them just yet. I think I have like seven or eight. Legendary parts, a lot of uh, green ones, few, f f you know, few epic ones, and this is still a new feature, and I'm not really pushing hard much lately, especially. So, yeah, roughly that'll be that'll be uh, kind of the idea. Um, I'm just checking quickly over my notes what I've done to on the side, and I think I've. I've mentioned everything. You know, what, what excites me the most, i give you just this little example. If you look on stats of Juggernaut, he has zero critical chance. That means that he doesn't create critical damage at this stage. But if he does, it's times two. So what if we put a critical set on him and see how he goes? Because the critical set turns the critical for him on. And he has times to damage, so he's pretty not bad. But if we increase some critical, I need to check how much the you know full set will give him boost. For example, that's that's a project for me to check. Or if you if you've tried it and you know, please drop a comment. Don't keep us you know uh, not knowing how it goes. But ultimately, I'm I'm really excited about it because because of the, before that the, the game didn't really give you. I mean, th this game generally gives you option to be very flexible and very tactically. Uh, proper, you know, <laughs> and mess with, with the tactics and not just play stupid, go and kill. But I feel like those gears, especially if you're able to have set of six yellow ones developed to level 12, um, or, I don't know, five, six, eight of those sets, you know, each responsible for each um, skill particularly. So you have six yellow attacks or six yellow health points and stuff so we can really compare until that happens i don't think we can really you know rely on this how it goes and it's all shooting blanks a little bit and checking what goes and works the best so if you have anything to share please drop a comment um if you're interested in this type of thing and you're not uh, subscribed yet please subscribe and just don't be annoying you know i'm gonna push this material so we're gonna do a lot of uploads uh, about gears and stuff so Let's build community of strategical tacticians around that. Um, also, I'll encourage you to check my, my memberships because it's not very expensive. It really provides massive support to me, uh, which I greatly appreciate and just encourages me to do more of cool content for you guys.
Um, anyway, if you have any feedback about that clip, please don't be shy. Leave them in comments. And in the meantime, we look really forward to Clone Wars. It's about 10 hours to it. So tomorrow, uh, please expect a clip about it because, oh my God, we're so excited. Anyway, in the meantime, I'm going to end this thing. Uh, wish you very, very happy Easter because it's about to finish anyway. Uh, or a happy, nice time with your family and your friends. And I'll see you next time, guys. Cheers. Take care. Bye.